What's going on guys? It's here, Eddie. In this video, I am going to cook beans from scratch. And I'm gonna show you step by step on how to cook beans from scratch. So, let's get started. <laughs> the ingredients that I'm going to use to cook beans Okay, these are the beans that I'm going to use. I have to clean them out. And if I need more beans, I am going to use this one's over here, where I got these beans from. <laughs> this is the pot. I already filled it up with water. I already put it in there, two garlics. The beans, I'm just gonna pour some right on this mat. Just like that. Now I'm gonna clean them out. This is a huge rock. There's some really tiny ones. You gotta take all those rocks out. When you clean the beans, you gotta take all the rocks out. Make sure that the beans are fully clean. And if there's some bad beans, take them out. These are bad beans. Take them out. And these are all the rocks from this beans that I'm cleaning. Now what I'm gonna do, since I'm done cleaning them, I'm gonna go ahead and place them right here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean more.
Just make sure that the beans are well cleaned. No rocks. I gotta make sure all the rocks are out. I think those will be plenty of beans. I'm gonna show you the rocks. These are all the rocks that I got from the beans. Now I'm going to wash the beans. Now they are washed and they're clean. Now they're ready to go right in the pot. Now the water is boiling you always want to make sure that the temperature is not real high, just normal for the beans to cook well and slow. Unless, of course, you're having like a party or something, then you can just heat them up at a higher temperature. Right now, the temperature it's at the temperature it's at 8.5. I can, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just let it boil for a little bit and then I'm just gonna go ahead and lower it down. I just want for them to cook slow. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the beans in the pot. Just like that. And all I gotta do is just let them cook. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it down to a 6.0 for it to cook slowly, but they will be cooked. Another thing you can do is cover the pot so the beans can cook faster. I cover the beans with a lid. Now I'm gonna uncover it by taking the lid off and you're gonna see what the beans look like. As you can see, the beans have rising up in a couple of minutes and that was because I placed the lid on. Because I put the lid on, the beans have risen because of the heat. It's always good to cover the beans up with a lid for the beans to cook faster and better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover the pot. I lower the temperature down. They're gonna cook slow, but they're gonna be cooked. Now I'm gonna check the beans to see how they look. After several minutes, I'm going to check the beans to see how they are cooking. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lift the lid up. And that's what the beans look like. They're not ready yet, but they are in the process of cooking. Now I'm going to check the beans and to see how they look. Still cooking. The next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to add salt. So I'm gonna put some salt right on the spoon. Just like that. I don't want the beans real salty, but I want them to have a good taste. Make sure to put the salt way before the beans are cooked. And this is for the beans to get the, the taste of the salt, to taste better. Right now they're not all that well cooked, they're still cooking, but make sure just to look like this and then you can place the salt. Make sure they're not salty, but make sure they taste good the right way. So always make sure to taste the water and see if, it's, if they're okay with salt. To taste good. And I'm also cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and uncover now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lid from the beans. And 
and this is what it this is what the beans look like I'm just gonna go ahead and place a little bit more water and then I'm gonna let it boil then I'm just gonna go ahead and once it's fully cooked then I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off gonna put a little bit more water let it boil then once it's completely cooked then I'm gonna turn it off The chicken on the other side is about to be done. This is what it looks like. The beans are now boiling. Let's take off the lid. This is what the beans look like. Make sure that the beans always have plenty of water. That's what the beans look like. As to knowing when they are ready, all you gotta do is get some beans out and then when you press on, run on the bean and if it breaks, then that means the beans are ready. Try one or two, press it down with the spoon breaks easily that means the beans are ready if they don't break easily and they still hard that means they still need to be cooked but right now the beans are ready I'm gonna put them back in the pot I'm gonna taste the bean water <laughs> to see how it tastes. Tastes good. <laughs> That's the water from the beans. So good, so delicious. <laughs> the other thing you can do is always get like a bean and just press it against the metal to see if the beans are ready. 
That's another way you can do it. I gotta check the machine. Got the leg quarters. They're not burned. I have the seasoning that I put right on the top. They're leg quarters, even though it's a thigh and legs. But they were leg quarters. I just cut them up, except for one. Now I'm gonna place it back in the machine and let it cook for probably about 10 minutes. Okay, these are the minutes. You can go up or down, and this is the temperature. You can go up or down. So it turned on by itself. It's gonna be on for 10 minutes. Going back to the beans. They're almost ready, so... I just want for it to get the, the taste, a little bit of the salt. And that's about it. But the beans are actually ready. And this is how you cook beans from scratch. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up. Some lit quarters over here. And this is to go with the beans. And this machine is called the Power Excel Air Fryer. And it's a real good machine. Show you the... That's what it looks like. So let's cover the beans for now. The beans are ready. And this is the chicken bean platter. <laughs> It looks delicious. I can also put like vegetables, 
but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this. Vegetables are healthy. And I'm gonna be eating and drinking water. Water is healthy. So food is ready, beans are ready, chicken's ready. Now, let's take a bite. But also, I am going to, since I like hot sauce, I'm gonna add hot sauce to my platter, right on top of the chicken leg quarters and the thighs. <laughs> this is the sauce that I like. It's called Frank's Red Hot Wings, and it's a buffalo sauce. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my chicken. I'm drinking water. Water is healthy. It's healthy for the body. Now, let's take a bite. the beans. So good. Now one more thing in a tip with this beans you can also do frijoles charros and you gotta get some beans out put them in another pot and then you can add like weenies and jalapenos all that stuff then yeah I think it's like jalapenos weenies so you can make frijoles charros. And that's the way you make the frijoles charros. Those are so good. This is it with this video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoyed this video and you saw value, make sure to smash, smash, smash that like and subscribe button. Make sure to share the video. Give it a like. Thank you for your support. This is Eddie. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. <laughs>